Yo, what's happening guys? DDBR89 here, back in with some more Dragon Ball Legends news, hint, tips and information. And yes, we're going to go back on about this Kakarot Collaboration event return. Now, yesterday I brought you a video on pretty much that it is returning and the dates and a little bit of information on it. But it seems to me that they're giving us some sort of overhaul in the system. So we're going to go through the information we've got here now because it is on the legends.dbz.space site. Now, this is all data mined from it. So this event should be hitting us on the 10th of January, which is a Sunday and should be finishing on the 1st of February. But without further more, guys, if you are new to the channel, please make sure you hit that sub button for more information like this. And also drop a like for the video because it does help me see what type of content you want to see. But we're going to crack on. So it says here the Kakarot collaboration event, the Saiyan Rays on Earth event returns. Now, it doesn't say there's an overhaul, but going through the information we've got here, it does hint that they are overhauling it because in the last video, it showed you um, stages from 1 to 14. Now, I believe they're changing it now so you can actually... Um, go through this path like they normally have now so you go through a certain amount then it goes on hard and goes through a certain amount and branches off into three but we'll talk about it in a second so uh, you've got clear stages to get goku's z powers and souls like always now this is the kakarot goku that we are getting here's a melee type special move kamehameha his main ability is a furious power it restores health by 15 percent and restores key by 50 plus 40 percent damage inflicted for 30 time accounts minus 10 to own strike and blast arts costs for 30 time accounts it requires 15 time accounts to elapse which is you know it's all right it's not bad when he does power up he does give you that um kakarot vibe to it or the game dragon ball z kakarot vibe to it uh, main ability furious power i've already went through that mass my bad uh, special skills heat up he draws a special arts card uh on the next move active twice uh Minus 10 to own special moves, art cost active twice, and plus 30% chance to next strike arts or blast cards to inflict enemy damage to faint on the hit. It cannot be stacked. Not bad. He's got a uh, decent Z abilities, plus 16% to Goku characters max base health during the battle, and uh, plus 18%. Goku character max health during the battle. So he pretty much is a character that just buffs Goku characters and or I believe it's some family characters. Other than that, he's not really going to fit in many, many decent teams. Uh, then again, if you do play a Super Warrior team, which I uh, don't know many people who do, he will jump on that. But he has a unique ability, the Endless Adventure, plus 20% damage inflicted every time one of the following conditions are met during battle. It cannot be cancelled. So when 30 time accounts have elapsed from the battle from the start, active once. When you evade two enemy attacks with vanishing steps, and when you hit or when you land, five hit strikes with a blast or strike attack active once as well uh, then he's got of course the Saiyan Rays on Earth which applies to the following effects uh, to self per Sun Family or Super Warrior member other than yourself of course so he does get buffed by Sun Family or Super Warrior units then he has a plus 25 to strike damage inflicted which cannot be cancelled plus 25 key recovery once again that cannot be cancelled but these if this information is him at three stars okay so three stars and of course at godly class which isn't hard to do now because they have introduced a new energy system which makes it a lot easier now the last time i did speak about this which was yesterday i did say this unit came out about a year ago and i was give or take right by a few weeks or so about a year ago this unit dropped and um, pretty much he is a good unit and this is the part where it says how to play this is the part that made me think it was going to get an overhaul and i should be right to a degree so it says clear certain stages will get you goku himself so you've got certain stages will get you goku himself there are three types of stages plan your route to reach your goal so there's stages where stage one where you can collect materials now like i said it goes across so or goes across that way should i say and then on the hard levels it branches off into three sections the top one will be your once a day your middle one will most likely be your z powers for goku and then your bottom one will be most likely your souls and stuff like that so that's what it means by materials so it's the stages where you can get the event items some stages also grab a lot of souls for the first time in clearance that's good uh, exchange event items for items such as choice in the exchange shop so you have the materials which again i'll tell you about in a second uh, we did talk about them yesterday but not into too much detail uh, the event materials collection stage which is stage two 
uh, recommended for collecting Z powers and souls. So if you want to collect the Z powers and souls, you can use them in the exchange shop. Uh, play these stage over and over again to gather a bunch of them. Like I said, they should branch off into three. That's if they continue with the overhaul, but they may go with the original 14 step process where, like I said before in the last video, step three, you'll get your first a copy of Goku if you haven't got him and then step four is the one where you want to smash it out as much as possible that's if they do not do the step routine um, the let's say snake way sort of routine if they go the 14 step step four is the one you want to hit out the most so make sure you do seven at star it meaning all the challenges must be complete so you can literally smash it out quickly now my Kakarot is on I believe nine stars and I only need a few more stars to literally 14 star which is the five of course then you get the special stage which I was talking about. This one gives you uh, a ton of event items and uh, pretty much you challenge strong boss. Now this is the once a day where it will most likely give you 500 or 100 of your Z souls for Goku. It will give you your items. Now these are the things you're going to want to be getting. These are event exclusive things. So you've got of course your Ryzen souls, your Super souls and your Z souls for your Goku. Uh, making sure you do know and distinguish which one is which so you don't make the mistake and then like I said before in the other video we have the event tips now I thought they were going to change the units and in the, the comments of my last video someone made a good observation I did make the observation myself but I didn't want to pinpoint it the majority of these units have been Zenkai the majority of these units have been Zenkai so is this a hint that we may be getting another Zenkai unit in this one so we have of course the, all the extreme units which have been zenkai we have of course the kid goku which have been zenkai the hint that instant transmission goku has been zenkai i believe the super saiyan 3 has been zenkai so maybe maybe the spirit bomb goku will get zenkai sooner or later but there's definitely two of the units that haven't been zenkai as we speak so keep an eye out for that guys because that is a little bit of a tidbit for you but the way you want to play this guys is if you've got all of these units, all of these units, you want to make sure they are all in your team when you are skipping the events and or using your energy to get them and making sure you lose one of these units, meaning the um, Spirit Bomb Goku or the Kid Goku because your Super Saiyan 3 Goku gives you 2 plus energy. Now this 2 plus energy uh, equivalents for one of them being able to knock out and lose them. Me personally, if it was me, get rid of the, the uh, Kid Goku because you've already got a yellow unit just in case you do want to fight it or this, but actually pick either one because you've got a blue unit as well so I'll probably get rid of the Spirit Bomb Goku uh, and play with all of these units just in the team and then skip them now the ones you really want if you want to get the Z power boost drop you want to have all your EX units in so that's your Raditz, Vegeta and Nappa now if you want to get your Super Souls which is the big orbs you want to make sure you have your instant transmission Goku and then of course your Ryzen Souls make sure you definitely have your Super Saiyan 3 Goku in because he gives you a plus two drop bonus and then of course your Spirit Bomb Goku with your Kid Goku as well pick which one you want in now they do give you a nice decent boost and so make sure you are skipping with these characters in your team otherwise you will be wasting a load of energy and more energy that you really don't want to use now we do have the return of the event limited titles which is of course the conquer uh, conquer the events to get the titles the saiyan raised on earth you've got the kind hearted hung uh, battle hungry saiyan and then you've got kakarot i believe kakarot is the one that you get when you complete the whole section and the rest i believe you can get from the exchange shop now in the exchange shop the exchange shop you will use these items so you've got the apple the fish and the meat the prime meat uh, which you can use and to uh, pretty much get these um, featured items which is your z souls silver bells golden bells and your erasers now these ones are ones that you're going to swap in for um, with your like i said your exclusive items now it says there are also highly sought after prime marble dino meat which drops they will give you a better item but of course you make sure you check the items out on the day sunday the exchange shop because they may have more well not they may they will have more me personally uh i'll probably use it on the z souls to get goku buffed up so i don't have to use too many um energy tickets and then they should drop skip tickets and energy tickets in there which i'll probably buff up as well and use them in we also have uh the pvp shout out yoohoo 
which is all right. And we've got a new, yes, a new equipment for this one. Now, this one wasn't here last time, so we've got a new one. And this is a, it looks like GT Goku, to be honest, or at the end of Z Goku, which is really nice because it looks like he's in his blue gi just before or just after he uh, fought Boo, or Oob, sorry. Now, this one gives you a base blast attack of up to 15%, a base strike defense of up to 15%, and a base strike attack of up to 20%. And this is only for Goku characters only so this will only be a really great addition for a goku character um hopefully if you can z rank it or at least s rank it it'll be on point for you but you can also guys i did say in the other one i didn't know if they were going to zenkai him or if they had him up to a certain limit but you can 14 star this unit guys so make sure you do get him because if you're a collector it's great to just have him at maybe a three star four star but He's a great unit. He's a good unit, to be honest. Don't get me wrong, he only does really buff up the Sun Family or Super Warriors, but I believe in the future they should start uh, making Super Warriors a bit more viable. They did it before with the EX units of the um, Krillin and the Gohan, and then they stopped it a little bit, but hopefully they'll bring that back again. But that is it for me today, guys. This is a revamp. Hopefully they give us a revamp of the Saiyan Rays on Earth, which means we can get more Chronos, which means we can get more uh, up, well, other things in it. And that new equipment is looking kind of tasty for Goku, especially as there are so many units of Goku. It may be a great equipment for him, depending on how you play PvP as well. But the 10th, the 10th, guys, it's only two days as of this video is recording. So make sure you have your teams lined up, meaning, of course, these units make sure you have these units lined up for you and if you haven't got them start summoning most of them are on your master pack free units and of course the spirit bomb goku you can get in the exchange shop for free for free i've done it before it's for free of course the legends road is for free as well and all of your zenkai uh, exes are for free so you should be able to at least get five of the seven units there if you haven't got them all but it's a great character to have if you're a free to play player or a collector but yep that's it for me today guys like always don't forget to like subscribe and comment for more in the future and until next time peace